What's up? William Barron here with darkface.net and this is lesson three of our larger project. First thing we want to do here is let's get rid of this memo one inside of our memo. And what you do is that you go into your properties here. You scroll down until you see lines, T-strings. You click on the ellipse button, opens it up, select it, delete it, it's gone. So the next thing we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be replacing all of our text here, each line, with a number. And that is the numerical, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if there's 10 lines, then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so forth. If you got got 1,000 lines, it's going to be 1, 2, 1,000, so forth, and so on. And so how we're going to do that is let's go ahead and get our steps a button. We're going to add our button in right here. And then we're going to name this one or caption it to numbers. Numbers to, well, we just name it numbers. Okay. And basically, what it's going to do is that whenever we click on it, it's going to take the information, whatever number we choose, and we're just going to replace it here. So let's go ahead and click there. And then before we're going to choose this and replace it, and we're just going to do an N. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to type in s colon equals string to int. That's string to integer. And then we're going to do re replace edit dot text. And then come, whoops, sorry keeps on putting a little squiggly line up underneath there that lets us know that something's not right and we named our integer n so that needs to be an n and then we go down here we do four i colon equals zero two memo one dot lines dot count dash one and get rid of all this then come right here and we do memo one dot lines dot string and then n colon equals int to string s oops sorry n plus i and then memo one dot select all and you're not supposed to be right there memo one dot select all and memo one dot copy the clipboard so i uh, let's go up here so let's know that it's undeclared identifier so we got to go up here and we got to add it in there. So now it is declared, and now we can run our project. Okay, so let's say once again that we've got this information here. Okay, so then we copy, and then we come over here, and we add a one. So we're going to replace this one to get everything here. So there's 20 lines here, not including the invisible lines. So we got 20 lines here. Click on number, and, okay, it just, well, it let me know that there's 20 lines there, that's not what we wanted, <laughs> so, hang on for one second, okay, figured it out, uh, right here, where we got memo1.lines.string, needs to be an I, let's try and run this one again. Now let's put a one and then there we go okay finally got it <laughs> so that's one all the way through so then we can come over here add our beginning lines and then once again we can replace it with the number let's only go to that number all right i believe that should cover it and so anyway wayne baron here with darkfix.net y'all have a rocking week bye bye